Hey guys, my name is Mohammed Shahzad. Today we are going to see how the virtual box network is working when we create the virtual machine and when we install virtual box on our laptop or PC and how actually the virtual network is in the box, virtual box is work with the different scenarios. So before starting the video, um, Kindly, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Okay, let's start. First, if we go, I wanna show you on VirtualBox because when you install a VirtualBox, here is our VirtualBox. In the VirtualBox, uh, you can see the network here. So if we go in uh, our files, in our uh, host network manager, you can see this host is uh, right now only have virtual box host only doctor. And if you want to see the different um, type of the networks, if you go into the settings, so you can see here in the network, you can see here is some different types like NAT, bridging, internal NAT, host adapter, and then the NAT network. So these are the main major things which we use with the different virtual machines. So let's understand one by one. So I'll go on my slideshow and I will start. And in the first, I'll take some pointers. Okay, so see, here is the network mode when we choose only NAT. This is the NAT network mode. What happened when you create a virtual machines, two virtual machines we have created. So they have an internal NAT system, which gives IP 2.15. And on the other side, NAT also gives the IP to this virtual machine to that same range, similar to this one. And then after the NAT, there is another, uh, it's, it's going reverse into this and then it's going out to the network. So this is a called uh, network mode in this way. So if we go into the next mode, next mode is NAT networking. Remember, first is only NAT, which is only NAT. We go second it's a NAT network so if you see NAT network it creates another switch internally and then your laptop have a one DSCP account with the same network and then this NAT works and all these VMs going through this way and then the outdoor the next outdoor IP is provided and it goes to the Similar, this one also coming and going to this way and then NAT and it's going to the uh, outside of the, your network. And similar, if your laptop, this laptop, which is the virtual box is hosting. So if you want to talk with um, your internal virtual machine, so it's talk via this IP, because it's this IP belongs to same network and it can talk with the both VMs. So this is called uh, network, NAT network. So we will go to the next one, which is bridged. Mostly a lot of time we will use a bridged. So what is uh, bridged? Because when you create a virtual machines, one, two or three, and you choose a bridged network. So this bridge network, they are going to bridge their uh, network with your physical adapter on your laptop or PC. So they are both connected with the physical bridged here and you you have to give the IP address from the same range to both VM. Uh, this one, which is belongs to our, your you know main router IP, Wi-Fi or whatever the gateway. So you give to your uh, laptop. That's the same gateway will be for bo both of these virtual machines. So they will direct come here and talk to this gateway and go out. Similarly, the second one come and talk and then go out because they have a same range. So this is called uh, bridge network. So if we go next one, there is another term which is called internal network. When we have an internal network, so then it creates another internal network. You have to choose another internal network. And in this internal network, we can it, it works with the with this way. So internally one separate network is created. It has a one switch. And there is another router or bridge or VM which is acting like uh, they have a same IP, this range, which is going to this NAT, and this one will be the gateway 
for this router and then it will go from here after the NAT. This one is internal side here and external side is this IP. NAT will work and external into another IP and it will go to the internet via your Wi-Fi. So same here if you check again. So this is a NAT area. Okay, so this router what is saying my next hop is this one and then from here it's going to definitely outside. So internal machines when they are work, talking to each other they can talk. But when they're gonna go to internet they will come in here and from here it will get the this machine, router it will pass to this gateway and it will transfer to this way to out. So this is the uh, internal network. Let's go to the next one. This is the host only. Most of the time we use this one also only the host. So in this it creates virtual machine creates a uh, virtual switch inside and these are talking each with each other the hosts only. And uh, Virtual machines talking to each other. Another is talking with this one the bridge and from here this guy, our laptop, it took an IP address. If you want to give a statically, or it, it will took from the DSCP, which is created by the internal network host only. So your laptop can also talk with these internal virtual machines. And these machines can also talk each other. And also, if you want to talk with you to the internet, you can go to the internet, but these machines cannot go to the internet because it's only host only uh, network. So this is the host only network. Hopefully you understand these three mechanism. If we go one by one again, first one is the NAT. And one another is which I didn't uh, mention here. It's uh, not attached. Not attached mean the same which is already um, if we go here back. Yes, keep it and if we come here. Here is NAT and there is a one not attached. So not attached is mean like unplug the cable. When you have a unplugged, similar to cable when it's unplugged. So the cable is down like, if we go here. So cable is not plugged. So it's unattached, not attached. So that's the field not attached, your VM is single. It cannot communicate to this. It's like unplug in the real network. It's like unplug the cable from backside of your PC. So same we saw. Let's rewind one more time. We saw uh, this is the network mode, like the NAT, NAT mode, and then we saw NAT network mode. Keep in mind there is two: one single NAT mode, and second is NAT network mode. And then we go to the bridge mode, which is uh, bridge to your physical. A NIC card and then after that one internal network in the internal network it can also go to via NAT and go to the internet your virtual machines and also talk can talk each other internally and you have a build internal and then give a gateway when the internally they are talking okay and when they want to go outside of the internal network they will use the gateway to go outside and then next is host only which is only the internal host can talk to each other and it's isolated network from your uh, internet and other physical NICs. So it's only internally they can talk each other. It's a standalone network, isolated network. And that's it. So hopefully you like my and you have a better picture of um, these configurations uh, how and understanding of the virtual uh, network in the backside of virtual box networking so if you have liked my video kindly uh, click the like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and see ya in the next video